Hi there, my lovelies. This is Jana here. Welcome to my kitchen. So today, because you know, there is a scorcher lately. So I thought about what about an ice cream, you know, but uh, without bananas, because a lot of people don't like bananas or uh, they are allergic to it. Or sometimes you just don't want to have bananas all the time in your ice cream. <laughs> okay. So I came up with a recipe. Sorry for yelling. It's because I'm excited. I came up with a recipe that you are going to love. Simple, easy ingredients, and let me show you how I put it together. Now, the two ingredients, uh, the main ingredients that we're going to need are two cans of uh, full fat coconut milk. And I'll explain why it has to be full fat. Because we're going to emulsify it, so the fats and the water content in the coconut milk, they need to blend together, okay? So if you don't have the uh, fat component, this won't happen and then you're not going to have a fluffy creamy and um, I don't know how else to describe it luscious can be I like that word ice cream all right and in a mixing bowl we're going to add the full fat coconut milk so one of the coconut cans we're going to put it in a fridge the fat will solidify and stay on the top okay and then the cream from the refrigerated coconut milk and the water you can save it for a smoothie because it's really good and now you are going to blend it very well for about three minutes do you see now that the consistency is more like a, a meringue kind of thing chantilly kind of thing so what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to add the vegan condensed milk, the sweetened vegan, vegan condensed milk. I have two recipes over here. So the one I use for this uh, recipe is the coconut one. I have a cashew and a coconut one. I use the coconut one because I wanted the recipe with more of a coconut tea taste. I love it. I think it goes very well with summer. Well, I mean, the coconut goes very well year round because it's delicious, <laughs> but it was just an excuse to put it in the recipe, I think. And along with that, we're going to add vanilla extract and xanthan gum. And now we're going to blend for about three, four minutes. Now, the vanilla extract, it's because it's a vanilla <laughs> ice cream, right? And uh, even if you want to uh, later add uh, flavors to it, I will explain to you, to you how to do that a little bit later. Do this part, okay? We need the aromas, okay? Uh, for these for the blend to be perfect all right now is the lengthy part of the recipe because you're going to uh, put it in a fridge for 40 minutes and then you remove and then you're going to blend it again And after that, you're going to put it in the fridge for four hours and removing it and blending it again for one, two minutes in every 40 minutes, okay? This is kind of boring or lengthy, but I trust me, this worth every bit of it because it's so good. And I'm gonna tell you this, uh, usually here I make recipes like challenging recipes that uh, non-vegans will never <laughs> say, will never tell that it's not vegan, that it's a, a vegan recipe. And uh, this is one of them. I promise you serve this, especially for the um, kind of judgmental people that don't like <laughs> vegan food. Well, actually they like, what they don't like is the idea that they, they are not vegans, you know, and we know how, the <laughs> how they think, all right? So serve it to them and they're going to be wow, and you're going to be wild as well. Now, to the part where you can add fruits to it. Uh, in the last part, the last time you blend it, okay, you can add, uh, once you're gonna put it in the ice cream tray, okay, then you can add uh, strawberry jam, or um, I don't know, berry coulis, or uh, chocolate uh, sauce, I mean, you can choose and do whatever you want because this is your recipe uh chocolate chips it's really good as well so like i mentioned we're going to put it in a, any tray that you have now it's a very 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 important part okay so in order for the ice cream not to crystallize okay because we did all this job is for the ice cream to be fluffy and hold the uh, hold it together okay 
and to not form crystals because it's the biggest challenge when you're making ice cream, right? So now you need to close it very tightly because because this this light amount of a, a freezer air if you can say that inside of it will ruin it will form crystals okay so to avoid that i it, this almost happened to me but then the, the second time that i blended i saw that it was forming uh, crystals and then i i triple the um, uh, cling film on top all right so make sure you can even wrap it around i mean make sure that it's completely uh, closed tightly I love my job you know that oh I love my job you know what happened it's like I said it's a scorcher here today and it melted a little bit so there are no beautiful ice cream balls here but whatever who cares <laughs> it's not uh, frequently it's not often that I have no words but Today is one of these days. Oh my God, it's so good. Mm. I promise you make it, you're gonna love it. All the work, I mean, it's like, it's not gonna make it all the time, right? So it's totally worth it, I promise you. Make it, let me know how you, uh, how, or if you added any flavors to it. And uh, share this video, subscribe to my channel, and uh, go over my website, okay? For the full recipe and consider becoming a member of this channel. Okay? I would love to have you on board. And I will see you next time. Have a fabulous week. Bye-bye.